What's going on guys, your boy R. Rice. Uh, today I'm just coming because I had a question about cutting. Um, one of my subscribers said that he's taking in about 3,000 calories per day. He's about 5'8", 170 I believe, some, somewhere around that. And uh, he finds it hard to believe that 3,000 calories is what he really needs to be taking in to be cutting. And if you ask me in my opinion, that's excessive. Um, maybe you should start with somewhere around 2,500 calories. My whole thing about cutting is that if you're cutting, you want to be in a caloric deficit. When you're in a caloric deficit, you burn off more calories than you take in a day. That's really the only way to cut, you know. And when you're in a caloric surplus, you're taking in more calories than, than you're burning off in a day. You know what I mean? So that's when you gain weight. Um, a lot of people don't realize that your macros, um, when, you're, when you're cutting, you're, you want to kind of limit your macros. Um, you know, mainly carbs. Um, carbs store in the cells glycogen. Um, which a lot of people don't really know and I think is really important when you are when you're talking about cutting or you're bulking because you know it play it play a big role. Carb storage in the cells is uh is glycogen and uh the more carbs are stored in your cell the more volume that, that muscle can can be. The the more volume that a muscle can obtain. Uh the less carbs you have stored in your cells is glycogen, you know, the less volumes the muscles can obtain, you know what I'm saying? So, when you're cutting, you're gonna lose strength uh, because you're taking less carbs, um, which is which is normal. Uh, usually, when everyone cuts, they lose a little bit of strength. So, the most important thing when you're cutting is to try to maintain strength while you're doing it, um, which is pretty hard. You know, you're gonna lose some strength, but uh, if you're cutting the right way over time, you're not gonna lose that much strength. Uh, my opinion on cutting is that it should be probably about a uh, a three month period while you're cutting uh, you, you shouldn't try to do it any faster than that so you should plan out ahead you know maybe the first month you know you start off slow cutting back calories maybe 50 calories a week or so and this is just an example it doesn't have to be this you know I'm just trying to give you some ideas um, and try whatever works for you it's all about trial trial and error nobody's gym regimen is gonna work for everyone you know so I would just suggest cutting back 50 calories a week for that first month, second month probably up a little bit more, and that third month when you know whenever you want to be to your full physique to to your ideal body, just you know kicking it up in the in the, uh, in, in another gear and uh, just just really going hard and uh, just remember uh, when you're cutting you're gonna want to scale back your workouts just a little bit because you're not gonna be as strong as you were. When you, when, when you were your, you know, your normal weight, let's say. Uh, a lot of people say that you can, you know, maintain your full strength while you're cutting. It's bullshit. You, you can't, you know. Um, I mean, you can come close, but, I mean, you can't. I mean, you can get pretty, I mean, you can get pretty close to maintaining your strength, but you're going to lose some some strength, you know, cutting. Um, there's, there's a great article by a guy named Lane Norton called the Ultimate Cutting Diet. I'm gonna put the link in the description box. I think you guys, I think you guys should check it out. Um, it'll probably be real beneficial, especially some of you guys that don't really know too much about bulk and girt cutting. Uh, it'll be a good start from there. You'll learn a little bit of knowledge about you know how the body works and uh, to give you, you know, I think it gives you some percentages on how they actually measure these things. I'm not sure I haven't read it in a while. But I just mean, it. but I think it'll be a good start for you guys. Um, I hope this answered your question. If you got any more questions, feel free to inbox me on Facebook. Send me a message on Instagram under one of the pics, whatever means that you have to get in touch with me. But uh, I'm always here to help. Oh, my fit.